Hello, my name is Lano, and you're listening to Lano's Corner, where I talk about something for half an hour or so, unscripted and usually from memory. This month's video is about Genshin Impact, and let me tell you, I have been trying to make this video for like three weeks. I originally wanted to do something about the Harbringers and the Commedia dell'arte, because they're all named after stock characters from that, and I thought it would be really interesting, but there's two problems. One, we don't have all their designs yet, and two, I have to use my brain, which I was not in the mood to do. So I came up with like a fun, cute idea, and I recorded it, and I hated it. So I came up with a different idea, and I recorded it, and it was an hour long. So here I am again, and I am going to make some straight boys mad, because I am rating Genshin Impact character aesthetics. I love fashion, and I'm a fantasy author, and I do a lot of world building, and part of that is fashion design, and like... I love it. I love creating clothing. I love fashion history. So I usually, like, I have a lot to say about clothing, and that's why I think I ended up, like, making this video more and more serious until I got to something where, like, you know what, I may as well just, like, get it all out there. So yeah, I'm going in alphabetical order, and I'm rating everybody who is currently playable or who is listed as confirmed upcoming playable in the wiki. So let's get started. First up is Albedo, and 10 out of 10. I love this kid so much. He's got really pretty eyes, first of all. He's got the prettiest eyes in the game. But just like, this whole this whole outfit I really like. He definitely looks a little bit like young Victor Frankenstein, but make it anime, which is great because I love Frankenstein and I love Victor as a character. He's got really cute hair that's up. I think when like looking at the static image when it was first like when he was just announced I really liked his boots a lot and I still do I appreciate how much Genshin Impact is like gonna give all of their characters thigh high boots like love it but after running around with him in Dragon Spine I actually like his coat a lot it's very flowy I like the chains so yeah I like his coat and then it has a little like hood I like the vest and his shorts um, he has the gloves that so many characters have that's like black or brown and then with a colored palm. And where are they shopping? I need 12 pairs of these gloves immediately. I want to wear them with every outfit that I own. So yeah, I'm into it. And I think he's got a really good color palette of like black, white, and this nice like ultramarine kind of blue. Yeah, I think this is good. I think it's a good like, they kind of have a combination of like, fake European fantasy aesthetic and like modern and I feel like he's a really good blend of that. Next up is Amber and I rate her a solid nine and a half out of ten. I love Amber. I guess a lot of people don't actually like Amber that much which is a shame because I think she's adorable and I use her all the time. I love her little jacket with the big overturned cuffs, that's great. Love the red thigh highs and the high boots and her gloves, all adorable, love her corset. And I'm really into like red and brown as a color scheme, which I did not realize until I started playing this game, so I'm gonna have to start looking into that, I guess. My only complaint with Amber is that I wish her shorts were like an actual length. <laughs> I wish they were longer because, you know, she's really active. She's out there as the outrider running around in the wilderness, climbing, fighting. You don't want that kind of thigh chafing. Trust me. So yeah, I wish she had actual shorts on. But like, other than that, I love this design. Like you look at her and you know exactly what she's about and what her personality is. And I just think she's really cute overall. Next is Ayaka and I'm rating her a 10 out of 10. Now, she doesn't really look like she belongs, but that's only because we haven't gotten to Inazuma yet, so I'm sure like once we get more characters, then she'll fit in a lot better. But like, I love this outfit because it looks like something somebody would actually wear, just like a normal, wearable outfit. I think her jacket is really cute, I think her skirt is a good length, and I like the pattern on it. It's simple, but not too simple. And um, the best part about this is that she's wearing armor, because is there anything sexier than women in full armor? The answer is no. But women in partial armor is pretty good too, so like, I love the fact that she's wearing what appears to be a breastplate, but is not titty armor, with a little bow in the front, because you can still be cute. And she has 
plate armor running down the sides of her skirt. Fantastic. I love it. I want it. Just a really cute design. Good color scheme. Uh, looking forward to seeing like her and more of what comes out of Inazuma in the future. Barbara is also 10 out of 10. I think Barbara is adorable. I just pulled her the other day, actually, and I'm really excited to get a chance to use her because I didn't have any water units yet, so excited about that. I think this whole outfit from head to toe works, the little hat, her shoes with the overturned cuffs, the big poofy skirt, the bow in the front, like it all goes together, the color scheme of white, pale gold, and again, ultramarine, really good. I love a lot of their color palettes, they're just so good. My only complaint with this is that I wish that her sleeves had a little like a ribbon or a chain or something to connect them to the collar because otherwise I don't know how they're staying up, but like that is such a minor quibble. I think this is really, really cute. It definitely kind of leans a lot more onto the like modern side of things, but like eh, they vary all over the place, so it's not like an issue. Up next is Beido who I love. I'm gonna rate this though a 9 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, I love her to death. I think she's really hot and she is one of my mains as she's the only greatsword user that I enjoy using. And like, I don't really have anything, I don't really have any problems with this design. I just, like, I would do a few tweaks because looking at it, I'm thinking like, I don't know, I can't help looking at it and being like, it seems like a safety hazard for her on a ship where there's, you know, there's going to be lots of like rope and lots of wind and lots of places where things can get stuck. So I wish that instead of having this like dress that she has on, I wish that she had pants for one thing. Keep her boots exactly the same. We're not changing thigh high boots ever. But yeah, pants and then with like a regular kind of, you can even keep this kind of style for the bodice. But then instead of having a dress, she could have like a, a longer cape or like a big jacket or something to get that same kind of like silhouette and the flowiness of it. I think that would look better and I think it would look like a tiny bit more piratical, which I'm always here for. So like, I love Beto, I love her outfit and her color scheme, but like if I were designing it, those are just like little tweaks that I would have done to have gotten in line with the same like kind of feel, but in a kind of better way, I think. But overall, not really any complaints. I love her. I love her so much. Bennett, I'm rating a 6 out of 10 because he doesn't look like he belongs. He looks like he should be in like a sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, like Gundam type show as a mechanic or something like that. I did just pull him recently too. And I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to use him because I wanted a, a melee fire user that I actually enjoy using. And uh, you know what's weird is like all this stuff I see that's like one of the great sins of Genshin Impact is like leveling up too many characters instead of focusing on like just a few. And it's like, why? You know, it's a mobile game that's <laughs> going to keep going forever, presumably. It's not like your resources are finite. And being able to switch out your characters seems like a good idea to me. So, of course, I can only play like once a week anyway because of my arms. So for me, it's not really a big deal. Everything's going to take me a million years. I guess I don't really have that much to say about Bennett. Like I said, he doesn't really look like he belongs here, but I am really excited to get to know him. And I do love the fact that he's wearing like whatever the hell is going on with his open shirt. Like, thank you, Bennett. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think he's cute. I just don't think it really fits in, and they could have done a better job of making him look like he belonged with everybody else. Chong Yoon, I'm rating an 8 out of 10. And the funniest thing about him is that, like, even though this game is Chinese, he still has the exact energy of when uh, shoujo animes decide to add in a um, Chinese exorcist character for flavor like these two characters, for example, exact same energy. I love it. I honestly really love it. I just think it's really funny. Um, again, he's got a great color palette that I like a lot. I kind of wish that, like, I know they were going more for, like, what is it, Ming Dynasty kind of 
aesthetic with Liyue. But since he does come from a family of exorcists, I kind of wish that the his clothing style was a little bit older. I think that would be really neat. My main issue with it, though, is that he's wearing, like, like, what is this? Is he wearing a robe under his shirt and over his pants? Like, pick one, man. It's just confusing. Like, you look at this design, and obviously they wanted to get some flow, which, fine. But then, like, just put him in a robe to begin with. I think his shirt's really cute, and I think his shorts are really cute. I guess those are, like, I don't know if you can call those shorts. His pants are really cute. I just, like, you look at it, and it's not immediately obvious how it works. And I think the ability of, like, for for a clothing design to look understandable and wearable is a big thing, especially if you're making something that people are definitely going to be cosplaying. So I'm docking two points just for, like, confusion, you know. Diluc is a solid 10 out of 10. I love this man with my whole heart and soul. He is so stupid. God bless. I mean, just look at how emo he is. And he's got this baby face. I just love him. He's the five-star unit that I want the most, definitely. I don't have any yet, but of the normal ones, he's the one I want. He does a really good job of mixing this kind of, like, fairy tale European and modern aesthetic because he kind of looks like a fairy tale prince who commissioned Hot Topic to make him his coronation outfit, and I love it. God, do I want that coat? Yes, I want that coat. He has this really nice, like, old, older style coat with the fur trim. Fantastic. He's wearing a cravat, too. Fantastic. I can never say no to a cravat. But anyway, he has these nice big lapels with embroidery on. He's got the tassels over his shoulder, which gives him kind of like a princely look or a military-esque look. And he's got like a much longer vest than what we would wear nowadays but then he also has like these really modern looking pants with like a chain around the thigh <laughs> what a dumbass i just i really like this outfit i think again it looks wearable you can figure out what he's wearing by looking at it and it looks like a completed outfit it all goes together the color scheme of like bronze black and white is really good with the red accents i love his boots yeah i just like I just really like this design. They do so good on most of their male designs, which is nice to see. Diona, I'm rating a 5 out of 10. This is like, so often, you know, you get the little kid characters that are like weirdly sexualized, and this is really on the border for me because like, did we need a midriff bearing top on a character who looks like they're like what seven no did you need pants that have like a v cut no we didn't need that i like the big poofy shorts i wish they had a real waistband like real shorts i like the little pink vest and the blue shirt under it i just wish they were you know a good length i like the ribbons with the flowers and the color scheme is nice it's just it's just though like we could have had better decision making here. That's not Diona's fault. I do think Diona's pretty cute. I'm just like not quite comfortable with it aesthetically. So unfortunately, I have to dock a few points. Fischl is a one out of 10 because it looks like she was in the middle of getting dressed and there was a fire alarm and she had to run out in just her slip and nothing else. This. This is not clothing, this is lingerie. I'm not into it. I hate the fact that everything she's wearing is like mesh or lace. Let the girl wear some actual clothing. Like if she had this, but then had some pants, or if she had something with this kind of cut, but it was like a full length dress, like really kind of sorceress looking outfit, then I would love it and I would have no complaints. But as it is, like, just give the girl some clothing. Let her, let her go finish getting dressed. She's not completely dressed. And like, if you want some kind of like, what is she? She's supposed to be like a real weirdo, isn't she? But like, what the hell is this? If you want to play up that like weirdo aesthetic, actually play up to it. Don't just put somebody in lingerie and call it a day. However, I do like her glove with the lilac palm. Fantastic. So she gets one point for that glove alone. 
And I mean, I guess like it does all fit together. I just hate it. Let women wear clothing. Let women wear clothing. My God. Ganyu is a zero out of 10 because again, this is not an outfit. This is a bodysuit with like a piece of fabric safety pinned to the front, hoping that it looks like a shirt. And it's not a shirt. And I think that like no part of this outfit goes together with any other part of it. It's not even an outfit, honestly. Like her sleeves don't match anything. Her collar doesn't match anything. If you can call that a shirt, I don't think you can call that a shirt. Whatever the hell that is doesn't match anything. Her shoes don't match anything. Like start from scratch. Like there is no part of this design that you should save. It does not look like an outfit. This is obviously like just there to be sexually titillating or whatever. And it does a really poor job of it in my opinion. Honestly, I hate this. And it's such a shame because like, I think, you know, her hair and her face and like her horns are really cute, but like the rest of it, absolutely not. Start over, you fail. Jean, I'm rating a nine out of 10 because I really love this design, but I wish that they had pushed the aesthetic a little bit more fantasy medieval. Like, not that I'm saying she has to be in full armor, but something more like this. I wish she was a little bit more knightly and a little bit less Forever 21, or at the very least that her pants were not skin tight. Because look, as someone who legitimately practices historical European martial arts, specifically sword fighting, I can just tell you that you do not want to be doing that shit in skin tight clothing. You need to be able to move a little bit more than that because it does actually require quite a lot of legwork and you have to be able to follow through with that legwork. So like, no skin tight pants. I know what I'm talking about. Don't at me. But otherwise, like, I think this is really cute. Again, good color scheme. I love her little capelet. We should all have more capelets in our lives. Um, I love the white and gold boots with the white and gold pants. I love the design on her bodice. I don't even mind that it's like off the shoulder with the big puffy sleeves, like fantastic. And I love the tails. I just wish that it was pushed a little bit farther into the more knightly aesthetic. But like, otherwise, I love Jean. I think she's really adorable. And this is also an outfit that looks like an actual outfit. You would just wear it with real pants. That's all I'm saying. Kaya is a 10 out of 10 because he is my favorite character and I'm biased. I love him. He's my favorite character as a character and as a unit and like aesthetically. This is so stupid. I love him. He looks like a sorority hoe who grew up to be a wine mom, like the male equivalent of that. He looks like a dumb slut and that's exactly what he is. And I love everything about this. I love his stupid gloves that are attached to his sleeves with like a leather strap. I love that he's like, yep, titties out, chest on view, the little chain across to draw your eye to it. I love that he's got like a love lock and I love that he's wearing a big puffy stole cape thing. I love his boots. My only complaint with his design is that the top is a little bit messy you can't quite tell what every layer is when you're looking at it. So I think that the top could have been cleaned up better and it would like have the same effect, but be a little bit more obvious. But I'm not taking a point away from that just because of how much I love him. But like, that is a valid criticism that I have and I wish it was a little bit clearer what everything was. But I mean, he's Kaya and he's great and he is my absolute favorite. And I am living the absolutely charmed life of someone whose favorite character in a gacha game is a free unit. Hell yeah. I love this man. That's all I'm saying. Cushing, I'm giving a 7 out of 10. And really, like, I don't have a huge problem with this. I love her sleeves, actually. Like, those really nice like renaissance-y medieval-y sleeves with a cutout. Really fascinating, which is funny because she's not even from Mondstadt, but she still has that going for her. I just wish that her skirt was like six inches longer 
and it would still have this really nice flowy feeling and it would match the length of the sleeves better. Like, you can't tell me that she did not buy this and then, like, she wanted it shorter so she hemmed it herself. Like, I that is what I believe that she did. Again, with the fact that, like, her dress that she's wearing, like, how how does that connect? Like, it's not as confusing as Ganyu's, but I still think it would be better if it had, like, a more obvious, like, kind of strap or some way of connecting, but, like, otherwise, I don't mind this design that much. I just wish the skirt was a little bit longer. Klee is a 9 out of 10. I think she's really cute. I think she looks like she's on the run from Santa's workshop. I want that keychain. I don't know what that is, but I want it. My only thing with her is, like, okay, her bloomers could be a little bit longer, and her skirt, her dress could be a little bit longer. Again, she is a little girl, but at the same time, this is the kind of stuff that parents dress their little girls in, and it doesn't really bother me that much. My biggest issue with it is that, like, at first glance, you're like, oh, this is a red and white dress, and then you look more closely, and it's like, no, this is a white dress and, like, a red overcoat, and the sleeves are a little messy, and um, so I wish, like, that had been differentiated better. Like, I wish that instead of it looking like a single item of clothing that it looked like two distinct item of clothing or was a single item of clothing. Again, that's pretty minor. I think her design's fine. Could it be a little bit longer given her age? Yes. Do I expect it to be? No. You know, fine. Moving on. Lisa is a nine and a half out of ten. I love Lisa. Lisa is fine. Like, as far as sexualized designs go, this still kind of looks like an actual outfit that she bought at, like, you know, Maurice's when they were having a Halloween sale. And I like the lacy thigh highs. I like her, like, lacy shorts. I like the rose at her hip. Lisa seems like the kind of character who would dress like this, and this outfit is enough of an actual outfit that it looks like she could conceivably choose this for herself and not a male character designer is designing this in order to steal money from straight men, which, you know. See, I like this. And because she's a librarian, I don't mind the fact that, like, how long and, like, loose it is because it's cut into so many different little strips. I think that's fine. And I like the little sleeves and the collar. This is, again, like, the issue with it is that the top doesn't seem like it connects. Just the purple part, like, I don't know. I mean... I guess people can wear this kind of thing, but I just feel like if you tried to wear something that didn't connect to your shoulders at all, it would just like slide down your torso, wouldn't it? But it is an actual outfit. You can tell what everything is when you look at it, and I think it's really cute, and it's a sexual design that doesn't make me at all uncomfortable. So yeah, I really like Lisa. Not as a unit, but like as a character, I think she's great. Mona gets a 1 out of 10. Look, are straight men really into this? Is this really what you want? Because, like, as a lesbian, my experience has been more clothing equals more sexy. Because it's not about how little you're wearing, it's about how you wear it. And so, like, are we just being subjected to this because character designers have decided that this is what men want? And we've all gotten so used to it? Because, you know, like, how advertisers have decided that sex sells, even though it has been proven that it doesn't actually, but we have to deal with sexual ads all the time because that's what they think. This isn't even an outfit. I like her cape. I like her sleeves. And I like the design of her bodice. And I would even tolerate the bodice being mesh if she was wearing a skirt. Like, this is a design, a witchy design that needs a big, full skirt with, like dagged edges with gold embroidery and it would look so cute and I would love it if she actually looked like a witch I would be all over this because like I like her hat I like her hair and I like the top portion I just hate the bottom portion it makes me so mad because it would take like almost nothing to make these designs just really cute like give the woman some clothing please give her some clothing 
I can't rant about this every single time, but like, I'm just tired of it. And I know that I, like, I know when I go into anime or video games or anything that I'm going to be bombarded with this shit, but that doesn't mean I'm not tired of it. And you have such a classic chance to make a really cute outfit and they just, they just didn't. And I'm mad about it. Ningguang is a nine and a half out of 10. I love this. She looks so classy and just like the little sleeve cuffs with the long like frilly dangling sleeves great the color palette of like yellow white and brown surprisingly really nicely done my only real issue with her is that like she does also have very pale hair which is longer than her outfit and so it does tend to get a bit washed out and I just kind of wish that she was wearing like dark stockings with gold or white shoes, kind of like what Mona has under that, because you know, she's got the brown sleeves. So it would be nice if she had like brown stockings to kind of balance out the colors a little bit and provide just like a little bit more dark at the bottom to help make her stand out. So like this is just kind of like a color choice that could have been slightly better but she is like fantastic and the sexiest woman in the game like hands down i love her so much noelle is an 8 out of 10. i actually think this design is really cute i do think she looks like she <laughs> she like moved here from dragon quest or something and hasn't gotten around to like updating her wardrobe it doesn't quite fit but I love the color palette of like magenta, gray, and white, and bronze. My nitpicks with it are pretty minor. Like I'm not really into the maid aesthetic, but this is not like the worst example of that. So I can forgive it. And she is wearing some armor, which I love. I wish that like Ayaka, she was wearing a breastplate that was not like the titties separated. Uh, I think that would look really cute. But my main complaint with her is that like, I think her hair is the wrong color because it just gets lost. I think she should have like dark brown or maybe just like a darker purple or black hair. She needs a darker hair color to stand out because so much of her design is white and then you get up and she has this really pale hair and really pale eyes and like a hat that's also white and like it's just she just needs a little bit more balancing just like Ningguang. Like just the colors need to be balanced a little bit better. And I wish she was wearing like a little breastplate or something. Um, but otherwise, I think this design is cute and I love the colors. Chi Chi's design is 10 out of 10, hands down, perfect. And this one I feel like is really well balanced because, you know, she is wearing shorts under her skirt, under her dress, but she's also wearing really tall socks. And so it's just like, this is just a little girl. And no discomfort whatsoever. Um, I love her cape with the little like bells at the end. I love her cute little frilly dress and her jade bead necklace. And I love her traditional little zombie hat. They just made everything look so adorable. And like, I just want to adopt her and take her out for ice cream. And I think this is a design that like is a little complicated. It's complicated enough to give it character, but it's not hard to understand. So I think that's really nice and, you know, as like so often I like the colors. I like her colors a lot. And in this case, I don't really feel like you have that problem with her hair, even though it's also kind of the same color, because you have the darker dress and the darker hat. So it does all work well. Completely fine. I love it. I have no complaints with this outfit whatsoever. Razor is 10 out of 10. Adorable. It's kind of a shame that, like, I don't actually like using him as a unit because I he was the first character that I pulled and I was immediately just like really I thought he was so cute and I still think he's really cute he's a good boy I love his kind of like wild man of the mountains sort of thing that he has going on his hood and like his necklace and all of that I actually like I didn't realize at first that his hair was as long as it was and I think he could do with shorter hair but eh, that's a that's such a minor thing I think his colors work really well together I think it's nice to see this kind of like earthy color palette with a sort of 
nice soothing brightish green because you usually get either like full-on emerald or like more of an olivey darker green so I like seeing this with like a lighter green I think it just looks nice again like you look at him and you know exactly what kind of character he is so it works on that kind of level and I just think it's really cute overall Sucrose is a 7 out of 10. Look, as far as like women wearing very little clothing, hers is probably my favorite. And if she was wearing pants, I would love this. Like, I love her boots. I love her little jacket with the tails at the back. I even love her like little ruffly. Uh, if that was a shirt and little ruffles at the bottom, it would be so cute. But like, this is her entire outfit. And, um, again, she's an alchemist. You don't want to be doing fantasy chemistry in something like this. She almost looks like she, like, spilled something on her pants and they disintegrated and she doesn't know what to do about it yet. Like, I do think that Sucrose is really cute. I just wish that she had a full outfit. Just, I know I've said it so many times, so I don't need to keep saying it, but, like, if she had little capris or something, I would be so in love with this outfit. You have no idea. I'm interrupting this video for a PSA for my own sanity. This is an Italian word, and Italian, unlike English, is phonetically consistent. So I can tell you that this is pronounced Tartaglia. I know that nobody from MiHoYo is watching this, but please, for the love of God, stop calling him Tartaglia. I lose a month off of my life every time. I honestly don't even play in English, I play with Chinese audio. But I did watch his videos on YouTube. I know that's how you're saying it. And just the knowledge that it's out there is killing me. Please, I'm begging you. It's a real word with a real pronunciation. Please. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Tartaglia is like a 6 out of 10. I, I love him so much as a character but his outfit is so boring. It's the most boring one in the game. He looks like a college student. Not like, you know, this is where nobles send their kids, but like a modern college. If a guy on my campus was wearing this, I would not have even questioned it. What I really wish is that they had like gone more traditional. I love traditional clothing. I think that like the so-called folk costumes but traditional clothing from all over the world is some of the most beautiful and unique clothing that humanity has ever invented and i really wished they had gone more traditional with it and like like something like this i think is kind of what they were going for this is like a georgian outfit i believe but i wish they had pushed it more and like really drawn him into this kind of like eastern european-ish look um, I think that would have looked so cool and he would have stood out a lot. As it is, he really just looks like a college bro. And it's like, it could be so much better. I like his color scheme and I love him a lot as a character and he doesn't deserve an outfit this boring. I do appreciate the fact that he decided it's necessary to show us like a little midriff, just a sliver of tummy as a treat. Yeah, I just like, this is the one that disappoints me the most out of the male characters. I just wish they had pushed it more because it could have been really cool. I'm putting both travelers under the same section because I didn't want to do them twice. So starting with Aether, just 10 out of 10. I love this outfit. I love that we're getting a male character who's being sexualized in this way. Like, look, I will tolerate anything as long as it's equal opportunity. Like, if more of the male characters had these kinds of outfits, I would not complain about the female characters at all. So, thank you, Aether. You're doing the god's work. Just excellent. I do think he's really cute, actually. I love the braid. Obviously, the color scheme is really nice, and I just think the overall shape of it is nice. Moving on to Lumine, who I play as. I mean, also 10 out of 10, they're both great. I love her color scheme, and I don't mind that she's showing a lot of thigh because she and Aether pretty much match, 
And again, it's equal opportunity. He shows off his belly, she shows off her legs, it's all good. I think her hair is really cute, and I like that she has flowers in her hair. Her sleeves are a bit strange. Not bad, just strange. And it looks like with her dress she actually is wearing some sort of corset or strap, so it does actually look like it will support itself. And again, just a very nice shape all around great designs for both of them. This kind of reminds me of when they were first revealing stuff for Fire Emblem Three Houses, and you get something like this, which I would not mind either of these designs if they were equal, but it pissed me off because they're not equal. So having the Travelers being basically the same is so nice. MiHoYo gets an A plus for that one. Venti is 10 out of 10. He looks like he shops exclusively at Renaissance fairs, and that is the exact aesthetic that you need to go for with him. I love his cape and his shorts, although I wish his shorts had been a little bit poofier, you know, a little bit more medieval-y. Corset, great. Little, like, <laughs> penny loafer looking shoes. <laughs> Fantastic. I like the fact that He's because he has the diamonds down the side of his tights, which I know a few characters have those, but like just given everything else that he's wearing, it makes him look very like page boy. And I love that. I love that about him. I think this is cute, and I would definitely wear this to like a convention or something. No questions asked. Adorable. Xiang Ling is an 8 out of 10. Personally, I wish she was wearing pants. Big surprise. I think capris would really work for her. And I don't think that the color scheme does her as many favors as it does some other characters, but like, I do like parts of it. I really like her little jacket with the, the collar, the way that it meets. I like the bow at the front. And she does look like she's a very active character. And I don't even mind the little flaps because they're much shorter and so I don't really worry about them getting in the way. But I do just wish that she is wearing like little shorts or little capris or something. At this point, it almost seems like an insult. I do think she's really cute though. Not too much of a complaint, just same old, same old. Otherwise, I think her outfit's really cute. Probably could have picked a better color scheme for her though. I know she's like a fire user, but that doesn't mean that she needs to be dressed in fire colors necessarily. Xiao is like a 6 out of 10, and honestly, the problem with this is just that there's too much going on. Like, his shirt is fine, his pants are fine, boots fine, I like his gloves and his, like, tattoos, but, okay, you've got so much shit around his waist that's flowing, you have one strand of a ribbon from his neck and, like, one long sleeve, not to mention you've got, like, purple and white and black and teal and green for his initial color palette already. Like, you don't need to add blue and red to that. It's just, it's too much. I think if they wanted this kind of look, you could have gotten, like, a sash at his waist, one sash, and then, like, dual ribbons at his neck, and it would have been, like, symmetrical, and you still could have gotten that flow, but it wouldn't have looked like such a complete disaster. Like, this is just a mess. It needs to be streamlined a lot a lot otherwise like i do i do think he looks interesting but like from an outfit design perspective this is a disaster xing Cho is a 10 out of 10. he just looks like xiao from black butler but you know chinese i love that about him spats are a great idea always so cute i love the big ruffly sleeves and the jacket in this case, the asymmetrical tails work because he doesn't really have a lot else going on, so it's not, like, too cluttered. His, like, cute little shorts. If Amber and, like, Xiang Ling had been wearing even this much, I would have been completely fine. Like, this is all you need. Longer would be better, but, like, this would have done. Yeah, I think his, his design's really cute. I think his color palette is really nice to look at. I like the, uh, his... <laughs> His asymmetrical haircut going in the opposite direction to his asymmetrical clothing. Nice touch. Just the overall aesthetic. Good. I like it. 
Shinyan is a 2 out of 10. Guys, this isn't an outfit, this is a bathing suit. I really, I like her color palette a lot, and that is why she has points. That's the only reason that she has any points. I saw an edit of her with short hair and I liked it so much better, so like, I can definitely say I don't like her hair. I don't know if that makes her look too top heavy or what. She's not wearing clothing, that's the main problem that I have with this. I can tolerate her boots with the spikes and the fishnets, like that's all fine. It's just, she's a, she's like a rocker, she's, give her something to actually rock in, you know, give her some real clothing. I can't really say anything about her that I haven't said about a lot of other girls on this list, but like, honestly, hers is one of the worst to me. I just, looking at her makes me feel so sad. I just feel sad, and that's not what you want. Last but certainly not least is Zhong Li. 10 out of 10. This is such like 30s, you know, wide shoulders, slim waist, giant single lapels, straight narrow pants with a pleat or a crease down the front, just like classic, classy. Again, a really nice color palette. This is so attractive. Like, if I saw a hot girl wearing this, I would ask her to marry me on the spot. So everybody at conventions better watch out after the pandemic because I'm coming for you. There is like, a well-fitted suit is so nice no matter what. And I just think this is like a perfect, perfect suit. Great design. Everything is obvious where it goes and how it fits together. All the colors work together. It's got a really nice flow and a nice silhouette and just like, this is a good, good design. I love it. I have no complaints whatsoever. So yeah, that's my ranking for all the characters right now. Did we learn anything from this? We learned that I don't understand straight men, but I think that's not exactly news to anybody. If anyone's curious, these are my picks for the hottest characters in the game. Love these designs. I'm excited to see people cosplaying characters in the future. I do think I've been a little bit mean because in terms of sexualizing female characters and all that jazz, Genshin Impact is really not the worst. Like, at least all of the female characters have realistic boobs, right? I mean, that's not much, but it's something. So we take what we can get. Even when I'm nitpicking, I do honestly like most of these characters and I'm really excited to continue playing the game and getting to know more characters. So this is just me trying to make a video this month because I can't think of anything else. If you disagree with my opinions, that's completely fine, but don't tell me about it. I legitimately do not care. Go make your own video. This is getting pretty long, but it's still less long than the last attempt, but I'm going to wrap it up here. So until next time, this is Lano signing off. Thank you for listening.